with us today. Beautiful evening that we have here tonight. Much better prospect of being out here tonight than on Sunday. I thought I'd open up with Psalm 117. It has the distinction of being the shortest psalm of the 150 psalms. It reads, Praise the Lord. Praise all nations. Extol him, all peoples, for great is his steadfast love towards us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Our gracious God and Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can gather here tonight, that we can look across the street at a building that members over 150 years ago labored to put up. A building where they could gather and lift high the name of Jesus. We are so grateful for their foresight. We are thankful for them and what they did in putting this uh, building together. And we are grateful to you that it has served this church for 150 years. And so tonight we look back upon your faithfulness as the psalmist said your steadfast love towards your people and we ask that you would be with us as we look forward into the future hear us our god for we ask these things through the wonderful name of jesus christ the cornerstone of the church amen and amen thought we'd start here this evening our brief time with having glenn come forward Glenn has served on the session, as you know, and on the building committee. And we thought we would have him come and speak. So you have to come over here. we got a path right here for you. Good evening. Good evening. So, uh, Patty called me a few weeks ago and asked me if I would do a little informational talk tonight, and I thought, yeah, I can do 35, 40 minutes like Pastor Gary, and I was all ready until Donnie Gwynn said, we got to do it in five. Well, I got down to 15, so I think we'll be okay, but uh, part of the reason, I guess, that they picked me is because suddenly I'm becoming one of the old lifers. Uh, and so I guess that's that's why. But tonight I'd like to talk a little bit about the faithfulness that God has given Bethel for over 222 years. Like I said, I've been in Bethel all my life, and I was thought, thought about this and thinking, who else here has been in Bethel longer than I have? And I got to thinking, and you know, there are people here that have been here longer than I have. That might be hard for some of you to believe, but it is true. But it was brought to my attention that some of the younger folks only remember this church all their life. You know, we, we could have 10-year-old kids that came to Bethel all their life. Do we have 20-year-old adults that have only come to Bethel all their life. So my thought was, you know, I wonder what those people are thinking too. Um, because, you know, it, it's, it's been God's house for a lot of people for a lot of years. So what does this mean? I could ask Betty's how long, but, you know, the, to, the, to the younger kids, you know, Andy's girls, this is 
their church. That's the building, that's their church building that they have done. So we need to be conscious about those kids too. You know, what are their thoughts during this process? Being on the building committee, you know, I'm a little more involved in, in, in what's going on, but these people that are sitting, you know, outside the building committee and don't know what we've talked about, what we've seen, they need, they need to understand where God is leading Bethel at this point in time. So I'm going to talk a little bit just on my, about myself and tell you what my thoughts are. Uh, God has blessed my family along with this church for many, many years. Uh, Psalms 119.90 says, Your faithfulness endures to all generations. And Deuteronomy 7.9 says, Know therefore that the Lord is God, your God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love to those who love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. So I think about the generations. My great, 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 great grandparents built, helped build the first church in 1804 that was put up here. God has blessed my family through generations. God has blessed Bethel through generations. And I also thought about it, and there are eight, eight generations of Leslie people from that couple buried in Bethel Cemetery. So we do have a lot of generations that have been through here. But God surely has blessed us. A few memories that I can remember, and I'm sure some other people remember the same things. I can remember growing up in Sunday school. In the basement, there was the young kids were on one side of the basement, the older kids were on the other side of the basement, and there was a kitchen class in the middle. And I have no idea how that kitchen class ever got through a study. Because if you wanted to get from one side to the other, you went through the kitchen class. <clears throat> um, something that I thought about is, you know, I, we weren't always, we were a little rough on some of our Sunday school teachers that I look, have looked back at. And since I started mowing the cemetery, and drive by stones and think of that teacher. I have apologized <laughs> for my behavior in Sunday school class, but I'm sure it really doesn't have much effect at this point in time. But I, I really have, you know, as we drive by, as I drive by. Uh, I remember sitting up in front of the church, in front of the sanctuary, I was 12 years old, we were joined in church. There was probably five or six of us at the time. We were not real well behaved during the service. Typical 12-year-olds. But each one of our parents had a conversation with us when church was over. <laughs> I can remember Bible school, at, at having Bible school here at the church. I can remember this building wasn't here, but the parking lot was over there. And this section of the building wasn't. The parking lot was over there. I can remember playing softball in that parking lot. And if you hit it across the road, that was a home run. But I remember we played across the road. <laughs> now, that's been 50, 50 years ago or more, somewhere around there. So there wasn't quite as much traffic. We sat as a family. We sat in the second pew from the back. In the front section with my grandparents and that was a Leslie pew <laughs> and everybody should know that that was the Leslie pew <laughs> and Ralph's family they had to go stake out new ground somewhere else because there wasn't room for them there I can remember sitting in that pew at least twice 
with my grandfather passing out in church and them calling an ambulance and taking him out. Uh, I, I know it happened at least twice. It could have happened more times. He could have been sleeping the other times. I'm not sure, but <laughs> he, he was good at that. But, uh, you know, sometimes when he was sucking air, we were a little nervous as to whether it was snoring or he was having problems. I can remember both my grandparents and my parents were buried out of Bethel. Uh, Ray and I were married in the church. Our daughter Rhonda was married in the church. So that gets us to where we are here today. That's just a little brief history of Glenn Leslie and Bethel Church. And we get here today thinking about all the building projects that have taken place over the years, the 200 and plus years, how many building projects did we have? I'm sure that each one of them were scared about change and about cost. But God was faithful in all that. And he moved Bethel forward the whole, all the time. Um, how many prayers? have been prayed over buildings for Bethel, asking God for his guidance. How many committees have there been that have been formed? How many committees in the last 20 years has there been? And I want to take a moment to thank those people because of their hard work, we're at where we're at today because of those people. So I want to thank them. God has been faithful and has blessed Bethel with so much, but it is in his time. And that's what is hard for us to understand, his time. So today we look back at history. We are saying, thank you, Lord, for this building that has served as a shelter for over 150 years for us. We thank you, Lord, for the history but most of all, we thank you for your faithfulness and your blessings on Bethel. Now let's look forward and let's start looking to history being made. Hebrews 3, 4 says, For every house is built by someone, but the builder of all things is God. So as we look forward, what can we do to better serve God through this new building? <coughs> that will enrich our faith and serve this community and his church. God has given us a wonderful opportunity here. Will we take this opportunity into the future? Will we make history that years from now people will look back and say they believed in God's faithfulness and they used that faith to lift up the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven here on earth. So, let us take Bethel forward, remembering our history, but knowing that God doesn't want us to sit on our history. He has great plans for his church. Let us ask him to make history in his name and let generations after us know of his faithfulness. And this chorus comes to mind. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the future, and life is worth the living just because he lives. Amen. Thank you. We gave to you a sheet of paper that has a thanksgiving for God's faithfulness in the past as a responsive reading. And so I believe John is doing that one. John, if you come forward and lead us in that responsive reading, and then uh, immediately afterwards, Patty will come and lead us in that unison prayer. That's Betty, Betty will. will. Betty. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> right beneath it, okay? And we'll close out by singing Great is Thy Faithfulness tonight.
Heavenly Father, we say goodbye to the sanctuary of 1870. We thank you for the cherished memories we hold dear in our hearts. Um, for, many, yeah, for many pastors who have boldly preached the gospel, leading souls to salvation through Jesus Christ. For the music directors, choirs, praise team, and those who have shared their talents, filling our sanctuary with songs of praise and in our hearts with joy. For the sacrament of the Lord's Supper, remembering the sacrifices of Jesus on the cross. And the sacrament of baptism as a sign and seal of God's covenant of grace. For the Sunday school classes, Bible schools, VBS, Awana, youth group, Young life. And teachers and leaders who taught us to love, learn, and live the Word of God. For the weddings of Christian men and women. Who commit themselves to each other and their marriages to Jesus Christ. For the special times with family and friends. Worshiping together in spirit and in truth. Lord, Lord we have been faithful for all generations. We are truly grateful for the gift of your Son, Jesus, your infinite love, and your eternal blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's pray together, and let's remember God's faithfulness to us. Father, we turn our eyes toward you and look forward to your continued faithfulness during the construction of our new building. We do not rely on ourselves, but acknowledge you as our master builder and trust in you to watch over every detail so the work is accomplished according to your will and timing. Protect the work area so that all who will enter are kept safe. Give us opportunities to show the love of God to the workers and to be witnesses for Jesus Christ. Provide all that we need, include the necessary finances. Keep us alert and aware of Satan's devices. We put on the full armor of God and hold up our shields of faith over Bethel. Protect our pastor and his family, our Bethel families, and our ministries, Awana, Youth Group, Young Life, and Project Hope. Protect the leaders and all who participate. Use our new sanctuary to advance your kingdom by proclaiming the gospel to our community and beyond. Give our church leaders wisdom and discernment. Show them your will for Bethel. with you, following the plan you have for us. We look with great expectation to what you will accomplish in the days ahead. We stand firm in faith. We are strong and courageous. We will not be afraid or discouraged for you. Lord God, are with us every step of the way. We declare we will build this church for the name of the Lord our God, through Jesus Christ. Amen. So you all know, this is participation. This is not solo time.
infinite, eternal, unchangeable, and I being wisdom, power, holiness, justice, goodness, and truth, we are here tonight acknowledging your great faithfulness. We have seen your faithfulness down through the generations. We stand in awe as we consider Glenn's family, and we know that there are other families that can echo that uh, history that they have seen your covenant faithfulness down through the generations. And we give thanks to you, O oh God, that you are faithful. And as we move forward, help us to remind ourselves all that we need, your hand will provide. Help us to move forward and that we might reflect you and be faithful in a faithless generation. We ask these things through Christ who loved us and gave himself up for us. Amen and amen. 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 Thank you for coming.